artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning and data science. What does all these four terms mean? When I was starting out with my journey, I had the same doubt and I didn't know the difference between two. So let's make that clear for you before you start your own journey. Hello and welcome to Code Boosters. This is my first video on Code Boosters and I'm JP. And in this channel, what I'm going to be mainly doing is to be giving tutorials and talking about artificial intelligence and machine learning. So if you're a kind of person who likes to learn machine learning in a manner, in a fun way or in a show up way, no, I don't do show up, then you can subscribe to my channel. So that was enough for me. Let's start with the video. Now, what is artificial intelligence? If I want to say that in one sentence, it would be an ability of a computer to mimic humans. It's just that simple. Now, we humans have limited time and we have a, we cannot do, a, we cannot process a large amount of data. So if machine can do that for us, it will just may save us tons of amount of time. And what is machine learning? Machine learning is, in a, is a technique that we use in artificial intelligence that learns from the data. Now, I give you a very simple example of how machines learn from the data. Suppose you're a child, you're a baby, and your parents shows you something with the label X, and you see it, okay, that is X, this object is X, and after a few days, your parents shows that object again, saying, hey baby, this is X. After your parents does that to you for quite a number of times, you don't need your parents' help to recognize the similar new object as X, right? That's very common sense. So machines does the same thing. If we provide an object to a machine with this label X for a quite number of times, machine won't require our help to recognize the similar new object which it has never seen before to recognize it as X. That's very simple. Now what is deep learning? Deep learning is again a part of a machine learning which uses an analogy of a human brain to learn from the data. Now what is specifically used is artificial neural network. All of us in our brain have a neural network and that's how we know things and we can make decisions. Similarly, an artificial neural network is a structure that consists of a neurons or say you can say nodes and the connection between these nodes. To understand more about it, let us take an example where we take a blank neural network and when we are going to pass the data to this neural network, the values inside the neurons and the nodes are going to get changed. And that's when we say that the neural network is trained. And when we will pass a new data to the neural network, what it's going to do is that based on the values that it has stored itself and the connection between these nodes, it's going to make us predictions on the right side of the neural network. Yeah, if that was too much to digest, don't worry about it. When you will learn more about the artificial intelligence and the deep learning neural networks, you will definitely get it. That is simple. Now, it's time for data science. What is data science? To understand it better, let us take an example. Suppose an organization or company wants to start a new project. What they will do is first they found out the problem statement. Then they will collect the data relevant to solving the problem statement. Then they will clean the data. Then they will pre-process the data or they will analyze the data to find the better variables that suits to solve their problem statement. And then they will use a best or the most suitable machine learning models that can better tackle or solve that problem statement. All of these are done by the data scientist. So data science involves the usage of all of these three in some way or form, as well as the data pre-processing, analyzing, exploring, cleaning. That is what the data science is. So now you clearly know all the four and what does all that mean. Now, if you want to learn more about machine learning, then you can check out my next video, which is about the types of machine learning. And if you're very serious into learning machine learning, then hit the red subscribe button because every week I'm going to upload a new tutorial video on machine learning. Yeah, that's for now and I see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.